life together. Hey guys, it's day five in the quarantine and I'm going crazy. That's so sad. Oh my god, I don't know how long I can do this. Also, um, my freaking all, Georgia State is now all online. Literally every school in Georgia now. I'm literally gonna go insane, so. But anyways, welcome to the video. Hi, how are you? I hope you're doing well in this quarantine because I'm going crazy. But I just made myself a coffee. I think I added a little too much cream. Anyways, welcome to today's video. I hope you guys like this video. I'm going to be telling you how I edit my Instagram pictures. I get a lot of questions asking like how I do it, like what do I use, what app do I use, do I have my own presets, stuff like that. So I will answer all those questions because I love editing pictures. I literally edit like all my friends pictures too. I'm like that girl who edits. I'm that girl in the friend group who edits the pictures. Let's actually should go to my Instagram. Here's my Instagram page. Um. Not much is going on. Anyways, here's how my feed looks. It's just a lot of me. I don't even know. Where's my friends? I don't even know if I have any friends. Down here, I kind of was going with the feed. You can kind of tell like I've been, I used one filter for like all of these pictures right here. Um, yeah, I thought that was kind of stupid. Like I didn't want to do that anymore. Like, oh my God, like everything has to look the same. Like, yeah, okay. But then now I just didn't care. So I started doing the thing where I would, whatever picture I have, I'd do a, a random filter that actually looks good with it, not a filter that I use for every single picture. Now let's go on to the apps that I use. The number one apps I use is Lightroom and the Teza app. I swear to God, the Teza app has changed the freaking game. Even though the Teza app's like, you have to pay for it, I think it's so worth it. It's, they, she did a thing now. I literally am obsessed with her. Literally Teza wall. Go shop everything from Teza. Okay. But like, if you were to, let's hit this picture right here. I were to edit it. Like these are all the filters, but you have to pay for them. It's honestly worth it. I think it's worth it. Like, especially if you're like all about, you know, editing pictures, growing Instagram or whatever, $20 every year, or you could do, um, I think it's $1.99 every month. It's just a great app. So let's go in detail how I edit it. My favorite filter literally has to be vintage. Like I love it so much. It makes you really saturated, but you kind of have to like mess with it on your own. Like it honestly just depends truly on like how the picture is and everything. So um, then it goes like exposure, brightness, all that, you know, stuff that you need. And one of my favorite things is dust. I kind of like how that effect looks, that vintage feel. Yeah, vintage honestly is my favorite. I love it so much. It just makes makes the picture pop and looks so good just gets you tan like it's really good look i i'm not tan at all like i'm pale as pale as heck even though i'm indian okay next um next i use is lightroom in the lightroom i have um this instagram bloggers Alyssa, i think that's her name but she goes by l y s s on instagram instagram page is literally insane i'm like obsessed with it. i've been following her for like so long now and it just really depends on how you want it if you click on it it goes crazy like that's that's insane like ew and you just kind of have to mess with it around each picture is different you have to mess with the filter and the exposure and everything like that one of my favorites fall 18 is really nice but i really okay i changed the names of them so i kind of forgot how they look and then you can mess with like the specific colors so i look green or i look pink it just like makes such a difference like if you actually take your time on this like you can get a really great picture and then yeah that's pretty much lightroom lighting is very key to that but honestly if it's bad lighting you can make it work with an exposure brightness or whatever okay so insta stories are literally so huge now that um insta stories are everything um let me show you okay first let me talk about my favorite filters so i have like a lot of saved bahamas from bryant oh my god it's so good and here's a little tip that i learned from him actually so say let's look here so say the lighting is like really bad say it's like if it's like really exposed and you go in here it's gonna make you look so bad and pasty like look at that like that's disgusting you go back and hit your face and it's like normal a bit now it looks i don't know if that made a difference but it's supposed to like if it's really exposed and you can do that with any filter on here so it's really nice and i just love this filter so much it's literally my favorite is film it's kind of like i wouldn't use this on selfies mostly i would use it probably like hold up to like take pictures of other things like that's kind of cool but there's like also this other thing with like a the glare 
next this one's my absolute favorite if you tap on it you can get the um dust thing off but it's like a sparkly look but with um a filter on this is my other favorite filter it's cream by yeah, glitter on black it's so freaking cool to use like there's just so much glitter so whatever black is like my hair i guess uh it's like that on tiktok they everyone like uses like the sparkly filter when they're doing like close makeup shots i'm like how do you do that there's an effect on there but like this one kind of looks like it which is really cool amsterdam and you can tap on it to change the exposure i guess and the brightness of it then Renegade by Bryant. Oats and Honey, another favorite. Like, I love this filter so much. I just feel like it looks really good on blondes, though. So, oh, Film Frames. I love this one. It's like that film look. Tap on it, get different things. Oh my god, this kind of looks like Unfold. I'll show you guys what that is, too. A Retro Dust, which is really nice. Then we have Glitter on White, which everything that's white, you'll get glitter on. Oh, this is Freckles. I feel like it, like, makes your face demented. Like, and then lastly, Film by film camera by bryant which is an absolute favorite and that was my first one i used so yeah those are like cute filters and i love them so much i literally use instagram stories all the time okay another thing i use for instagram stories is unfold it's some of them are free but they're like 99 cents for like a filter or not filter for like a thing so i bought the films one and then i bought the one that kind of looks like a macbook which a lot of youtubers use okay so you basically for the film you tap on it you can put videos and um pictures on it and then you can add text if you hit the little pencil you can add text stickers change the background or duplicate it which is really nice and that's like a cute little template you can just post on your insta story if you have like a bunch of filter pictures you took and you didn't post them post on the story you know everyone loves to see more let's talk about visco I mean, Visco was like the OG way to edit. Everyone knows, I'm pretty sure by now, but I'm just gonna say it. Discos are so freaking cool. Oh, Dad's Cam. Okay, now let's get on to Dad's Cam. And then it's like a little cute video. Looks like that. I hope you guys like this video. Be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you're new here. Be sure to subscribe to my vlog channel. I am literally pre-filming so much for my um, vlogdon series, which is coming up really soon because ramadan is almost here and it's kind of sad that so much of this quarantine and corona is happening that so many things are getting canceled because of it but stay safe um be healthy wash your hands and yeah i hope you guys like this video and learned how i edit anyways yeah i hope you guys like this video and i'll see you guys in my next video peace that's facts